So many people have always asked the question, how realistic can Roblox get? And you can guess from the title of this video that the answer is very. And overall we've been getting updates like the PBR, the future is bright, stuff like the surface appearance and other different technologies. And right now I am in a showcase place, which is actually using set technologies. And you can see that the environment here is actually really realistic. Where not only you have foliage, different assets, they also have stuff like the particles right there and Roblox's water, as well as the use of the future lightning technology. And I will be leaving links to everything in the description so you can check these places out yourself. But recently something has been brought up to my attention. And it was this post on Twitter from an artist that I believe has been working on front lines showcasing basically this. And of course the Twitter video quality is going to be a bit low, but I just wanted to show this to you guys. So you can see that the whole scenery here, both from the grass to like this tree stump and different trees on the distance, looks really realistic. Almost as it was a different game engine. But this is actually made on Roblox. And like the materials, the PBRs and the lightning is one thing, right? But you can also notice how for example the trees and the leaves are moving. So there is many different aspects and a lot of work that actually goes into this. And then you can see this guy basically just walking around in-game. So I just wanted this video to be a little bit of a shoutout for the actual creators and the environmental artists, and also a showcase of what the engine is capable of. Because a few years back I wouldn't be able to say that this is actually Roblox. And the place that I was just playing is called Relief Showcase, made by Floorlight. And I apologize for any mispronunciations, but anyways. So this person has a portfolio of the showcases. Now you can see that there is a bunch of them basically. And everything here is really worth checking out. But basically this person is an environment artist at Twin Atlas and Outstanding Move. But I mostly wanted to focus on these realistic personal projects, because this is something that I've been following on Twitter, where this person is actually making really amazing stuff. But you have different environments like the caves, this overgrown outdoors, another cave with crystals, and also like the desert that actually looks like it was taken out of from Monster Hunter. And this artist also ranges from the deserts, forests, and also Miriani, which I'm guessing are like these forest areas. And another thing that I forgot to talk about is the audio design in these realistic showcases. So we have an ambience, right, which is the ambient noise of the wind, the waterfalls and so on. And the music and the cafe ambience I'm not really going to play. But you also have, for example, the footsteps, which I'm going to make a bit louder. And these footsteps actually change depending on what kind of a material you are stepping on. So like I said previously, a lot of aspects comes into this. But another showcase that I wanted to present is made by Alvi. But you can see that this is another pretty and realistic environment. And this one also has more ambient aspects like for example the fog and these different particles. And it's an actual environment that you can walk around in and explore. And then here is this tree that's kind of like the main thing in the first plan of the forest. And it also has a pond around it that's covered by these rocks. So again you can see the use of the lightning, the fog, this time it's also the skybox with the moon to make like this really nice atmosphere. And what I really like about this one is that how the fog actually looks amongst the foliage. This really does give a vibe to everything. But that's going to be everything for this showcase and let's move to another one. And this time it's going to be work from the dev forum. So I have this post about a hyper realistic environment art showcase made by this person called Gimset. And again you have these different environments like this forest which again has a great use of foliage and the lightning. Then a desert showcase and this is a good representation of how the sun reflects from these different rough rock surfaces. And then another forest with more of a grainy feeling to it. So again shout out to this guy. And the last pose that I'm going to go through is actually another portfolio made by Real Math Geek. 
but they have a level design tab and something like a hyper-realistic Sierra Nevada forest map, which does look realistic except some of these rock meshes basically being put together like this, instead of having for example a seamless transition that could actually be made in Blender. And a really amazing environment that I actually wanted to show from this person is the Destroyer's Invocation, which again is a great environment, except some of these textures, because I think this is the terrain texture being a bit low quality. So on this one you can see that everything is basically dense and put together, but I like the attention to detail on this, on how you can for example see the trees in the background, and everything being like overgrown, which you can basically guess that it's environmental storytelling, that this place has been kind of abandoned, not taken care of, and that's why it's actually overgrown. And again, here is the light reflecting off of the rocks, from these different light sources like the lamps, as well as since I'm guessing that the shadow is going right here from this pole, the moonlight would be going from around this area. And of course there is a bunch more, but I'm going to leave this in the description, so you can view it for yourself. But people may also ask, for example, how they can make something like this themselves. And if you haven't watched my previous tutorials on this, then I'm just going to briefly go through the process. And I've made few environment assets myself, but for a Roblox game to be realistic, the first thing you need is the lightning. That needs to be set to the future technology, because compatibility is basically for low-end devices, shadow map is like the default one, then voxel, well you can see, and future is the most advanced realistic one, but it's also going to take the most resources. And then you also have the PBR aspect. So let's take this bush for example. So not only you have the branches that use surface appearance, that have these different maps, where the maps are the color, the normal and the roughness. Color is the basic texture that you would see normally on a mesh. Oh yeah, and you also have the metalness. So the metalness is going to tell the engine of how metallic a surface is going to be. And depending on the render engine, it's also going to have different behaviors. It's going to be, for example, the reflection, the gloom, and so on. Then a normal map is going to tell the engine that the surface has basically these like bumps and dents, and how the lighting is going to behave on it. And you also have the roughness, where this one details how the light is going to scatter across the surface. Also, you can see that the shadow is a little bit low quality, and this is a thing with the Roblox Studio, so let's just add a little bit of softness. And sorry for me being a little bit fast with this process, I kind of don't really have time to record this, but I'm going to put as much information as I basically just can. So we had the lighting technology and the PBR, right? And another thing is that there is also the skybox, that also is going to impact how the game is going to look like. Now we can see that the whole environment has a different vibe and the atmosphere. And this is also a better example of displaying how the maps are going to look like on a model. Where you can see that the surface of the sword is actually reflecting the sunlight. And also I've shown that in one of these showcases, the trees were actually moving. And for stuff like foliage, a technology that you could use to also achieve the same effect is going to be for example the windshake module that I've also made a video on. And of course there is also many more different technologies and aspects. Like for example, I'm also using Realism, that's right here in the starter player, this Realism client, made by Max. And of course the PPR, the lightning, the footsteps and different technologies like this one, or the windshake, like putting them all together is actually how you are going to achieve a realistic experience. And trust me, there is going to be a lot of designing and working that actually comes into this. But yeah, sorry, but I basically just have to wrap this video up. I'm going out in a few minutes and sadly don't have the time. But that is basically going to be everything for today. So leave a like and subscribe to support the channel. And yeah, hope everyone had a nice day and see ya guys.